Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Well, it looks like another solar EV manufacturer has called it quits. Um, you guys remember there were, a while back, there were three companies that were planning on building solar electric vehicles. And by that, I mean that they're going to get a large percentage of their range from solar. This is not like uh, the Fisker Ocean, which has this kind of small um, solar panel that adds a few miles a day. Um, I was talking mainly about the Sono Scion, the Lightyear Zero, and Aptera. Okay, so you guys remember that Sono Motors had that big uh, campaign where they were trying to save uh, Scion and um, see if they could f raise enough funding to make it to production. They ultimately did not succeed and they decided to end their um, production of the, uh, the Scion and focus on production of their solar panels for um, other manufacturers that's so this is um this is sono motors website now and if you look at it they are concentrating on producing panels for other oems to use and there is nothing about their um, solar electric vehicle if you look at this at the very end you see the scion program or Sion program and they say we have terminated the Sion program and intend to sell it including tooling and other assets to third parties um, and if you look at uh, where they're at, where they're at since we last kind of saw them back in July 18th 2023 uh, they were delisted from the Nasdaq because they were in bankruptcy court um, in Munich Germany um, looking at insolvency and uh, they did not file any of the forms that they need to uh, uh, fill to stay on the Nasdaq so they were delisted since then, they've gone over to the OTC markets, and you can see that uh, their their stock is not doing well. So if you would have bought them when they first IPO'd in November 19th of 2021, uh, at its current stack, uh, stock price, it would be about $25 a share. Uh, there was a fairly precipitous drop and then a steady decline since then. And as of today, when I'm recording this on October 11th, 2023, they are at 0 0.070 US dollars, so less than a penny per stock. Um, so they have lost uh, about 99.97% of stock value over uh, since they IPO'd. So it looks like the market is not thinking that they're going to be a very successful company selling their solar panels. Next is Lightyear, and you guys remember their Lightyear Zero. That was the like $160,000 vehicle that they were going to sell. Um, they had a contract manufacturer who was going to make it. Uh, eventually, they ended up, I think they just stiffed their uh, suppliers and their contract manufacturers, declared bankruptcy, transferred all their IP to another company, and they said that they were going to produce the Lightyear 2, um, which is a $40,000 car. And so if you look here, um, you can see light year zero and light year two, and they're still taking uh, reservations for light year two uh, on their uh, website. However, um, if you look on their website, they are the only thing they're talking about is discover light year layer, and they are transitioning to a solar panel uh, only manufacturing company. So if you look at this, it says a uh, helmet based solar car maker light year suspends car production, switches to building solar roofs. And what they say is that they could not find enough funding to make it to um, to successfully produce even the light year two. So they tried with light year zero and they thought that was not going to work for whatever reason. And then they transferred the IP over and they, they thought they were going to develop a cheaper, more mass market vehicle. And um, that they could not find enough funding uh, for that as well. And... Uh, they're transitioning over to just making this. And so they've dropped to approximately 20 employees. I think they were up to like a couple hundred employees at one point. And this is another uh, article from the German media, which says the same thing. Dutch solar car startup Lightyear is putting its plan to produce its own vehicles on hold and will instead, much like Sono Motors, prioritize production of solar modules for other uh, manufacturers of electric vehicles. So... Um, the, both of them are going that, uh, I think the, the only IP they feel like is worth anything is their solar IP and, um, they're going to use that 
and try to capitalize on that and turn that into a viable business. I hope Sono survives. And um, I haven't. there haven't been any great updates on their website about things they're doing with their solar panels. But uh, if if their stock is any in- indication, they're um, they're very they're struggling, so they're not doing very well. I mean, if you look at this, the market cap of the entire company is less than half a million dollars. So um, there's people that probably watch this channel that could buy this entire company outright if they wanted to. Um, and Lightyear may be headed in the same direction in terms of um, valuation of the company. But in, in terms of their business plan, that is where they're heading. So it turns out right now, as of now, Aptera is the only company that is still planning on producing a solar e- electric vehicle. So if you're, if someone is interested in a solar electric vehicle from a uh, commercial company instead of building it themselves, it looks like Aptera is currently the only game in town, which is really unfortunate. I, we, I was really pulling for Lightyear and Sono. Um, to survive because I think they were both great companies with good ideas, and um, it would it was it would have been nice to have multiple companies doing this thing, um, especially Lightyear. They had a very efficient vehicle um, that looked more traditional, and I think if they would have produced a Lightyear two at a reasonable price, um, it would have gotten some traction. But it looks like um, that is not going to be possible at least for now. All right. Well, um, tell me what you guys think. Did you guys think that this is the way that it was going to go down? Um, And do you think this bodes well or poorly for Aptera? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.